Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, again, sorry for the short notice, but uh, sometimes that's how these things work a little bit. Uh, you have to be able to adjust and move on the fly. Um, I thank you for your presence here today, and uh, I also thank you for your friendship. I'm humbled, and I recognize that your presence here uh, tells us all about how much you care about this university and this basketball program. Uh, so thank you for your partnership. Uh, Janet mentioned a little bit about the process, and I wanted to speak to that just a little bit. Uh, it was long. It, were, uh, it involved some anxious times, some nervous times, uh, but all at the same time, uh, it was a fun process. It was good for me. Uh, it allowed me to uh, self-evaluate, uh, to evaluate the program, and also evaluate uh, the vision that I and that we all share for our program going into the future. Uh, so it was, it was a good process and one that I enjoyed. Uh, this isn't the Grammys, uh, but there are some folks that I would like to thank here uh, that are special to me and special to this program. Uh, lest you guys think I'm out of my mind and stupid, I would like to start with Lauren. Um, <laughs> She has agreed to uh, go on this journey with me and with us. Uh, she understands the late nights and the long bus rides and the recruiting trips and the occasional uh, late night phone calls from our players. Uh, so for that, I do want to say thank you. Uh, together, Lauren and I would like to thank God. Our faith is important to us and uh, we wanna be a, at a place where we can make a difference. And uh, that has been our prayer. Uh, speaking of prayer, I also realize that the Bible says that it is a sin to worry, and I have been sinning for three and a half weeks. Uh, I also want to thank our Director of Athletics, uh, Janet Cohn, uh, for her personal mentoring and uh, for leading this athletic department in the right and wonderful way. I want to thank Chancellor Ponder uh, for her leadership, her vision, her steady hand, and for caring, not only for this great institution, but on a national, on a national stage as well. Uh, also, to the Board of Trustees, I thank you for uh, your continued love for this university. Janet, Chancellor Ponder, Board of Trustees, every day I will wake up to honor your decision. I also want to acknowledge the support from the university community, uh, from administrators, faculty and staff, uh, students, alumni, current players, uh, former players. I truly appreciate all the support, the emails, the texts, the tweets, the, the posts on Facebook. Uh, some of them are pretty creative. Uh, I truly appreciate it. I uh, can't tell you how deeply appreciative I am of that. And to my colleagues, uh, some of you are in the room, I look forward to our continued work together. Uh, my mother, whose uh, hands and knees are probably worn out from the three and a half weeks of prayer. <laughs> uh, to my dad, who is excited for me, but is also excited for himself. He always reminds me he has four years of eligibility left. <laughs> and so I know he is excited as well. Uh, but seriously, though, I thank you, too, for everything, uh, along with my sister, Casey. I really appreciate everything you guys do for me. And I really do have to thank Eddie Biedenbach. Uh, Eddie came to my parents' dining room and sat and had dinner with us about 17 years ago and uh, asked me to come play basketball here at Asheville uh, for him. And uh, I want to thank him for his friendship and his inspiration. He truly has been an inspiration for me for the past 16 plus years. Uh, he's given me uh, gray hair, and I know I've made him lose some of his. <laughs> uh, but his work ethic and his sense of caring are second to none, and he truly has left a tremendous and lasting legacy here at this university. <coughs> I will say the same thing to you that I said to the selection committee. I did not apply for this job because it was open. 
I didn't apply for this job lightly. I did not this year, nor have I ever had applications out at other universities and other schools. This is not a stepping stone for me. This is not a stepping stone. I want to be here. I want to build a program. My vision, my passion, my energy are here at UNC Asheville. My papa, my grandfather, he helped put the original plumbing in Governor's Village, for you guys that don't know that. <laughs> uh, I went to Super Saturday classes here when I was a young boy. Uh, Mike Gore. Mike Gore was my camp counselor at the Don Doucette basketball <laughs> camp. <laughs> we don't teach layups the way Mike taught layups. <laughs> uh, my dad and his brother are both graduates of this university, uh, mid-1970s. I won't say the exact year to date them. Um, and my sister, as well as other immediate extended family members, all still have an invested and excited uh, interest in the continued success of this university and this men's basketball program. So it truly has been home for me and my family uh, for five plus decades now. As Janet mentioned earlier, UNC Asheville basketball has a rich tradition going all the way back to the NAIA days and the Justice Center with uh, Mickey Gibson and Mike Grace and Bamford Jones, uh, Rhett McElhaney. We've also been fortunate to enjoy the Eddie Biedenbach era. And now I believe we're poised to go to the next level. I'm excited but not daunted by the challenge that we have in front of us. I do enter this journey, however, with a great deal of excitement and enthusiasm. I enter this journey with great anticipation. I enter this journey with great expectation for you guys. I enter this journey with a sense of urgency. And I do enter this journey with a great deal of confidence in the future. I recognize with great humility the opportunity and the challenges that lie ahead. Like you, I did not anticipate Eddie's departure. But when he made this decision, it took me about two seconds to decide that I wanted to go after this job and pursue it. Uh, I pursued it because it's a great opportunity. And I pursued it not just so that we could have a good series of teams, but to have a sustainable program built around the right values. I pursued it because I believe we can assemble a great team of coaches, players, and supporters that can take this program to the next level. But ladies and gentlemen, this day is not about me. This isn't about me. It's about a successful program, and it's about these guys. It's about these guys right here. Um, we're going to work hard, and we're going to work smart. And because of that, and because of who these guys are, I'm not daunted, and I accept the responsibility and the challenge in front of us. But also, it's about the next class of guys coming in, and the class after that, and the class after that. We have to prepare these guys for life. Um, as I was going through the process, I'll share with you a quick story. Uh, I told the committee that I wanted to wow them a little bit. I did. Uh, it's kind of like a recruiting process. You bring recruits to campus, and our job is to try to wow them just a little bit. We want them to walk away from here saying, that's where I want to be. So in part, with a portfolio, with our uh, interviews, <laughs> I wanted to wow them a little bit. But more important to me, I wanted you guys, the selection committee, the board of trustees, the chancellor, for you guys to say, wow, a year from now, next May, when Trent Meyer graduates, I want you to say, wow five years down the road when we've won a couple of championships or the crisis has come in the front door because you guys that are in business or you guys that have been coaches the crisis is going to come it's going to come in the front door but when it does i want you guys to say wow those guys handled it the right way they stuck to their values they know what they stand for what this university stands for and they handled that the right way i want you to say wow in 10 years when some of these guys come back with their wives and their kids, uh, they've, they've bought into the program and the vision that we have 
for this basketball team and this university, and they're here, and they're season ticket holders. <laughs> I want you to say, wow. That's when I want you to say, wow. And it's about the difference we can make in those young men's lives. Um, I read once somewhere a poem. I took some liberties with it, uh, but it reads as follows. If you touch a rock, you touch history. If you touch a flower, you touch the present. And if you touch a human life, you touch eternity. We can do that, and we're going to do that. And we're going to do that while we win some basketball games. Since coming here to UNC Asheville 16 years ago, the standard of excellence at this place has been apparent. And that standard will continue as this team carries it onto the floor, as they carry it into the classroom, and as a face of this university in the Asheville community. Our primary job is to win games, and we're going to win games. But your coaches and your players are going to work hard. As a matter of fact, as soon as this press conference is over, uh, myself and two of our other coaches, we're hitting the road recruiting. Uh, I'm headed downstate to Fayetteville. We're going up to Virginia, down to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, we're going to work hard for this program. We're going to have a team meeting in about 30 minutes when this thing's over. <laughs> we're going to get together. Uh, I've got uh, to finalize next year's schedule. We've got a lot of games already finalized, but we're going to get to work finalizing next year's schedule. We're going to run summer camps, uh, our day camp. We will be doing academic planning, both for the summer and for the fall semester. So we're going to be hard at work, and we're going to be partnering with you, our fan base, for some support. I am indeed honored. I am indeed humbled for the privilege of leading our and your team into the future.